This is a discussion on broken heart syndrome or Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is characterized by left ventricular epical ballooning and normal coronary arteries. It typically occurs after a high catecholamine stress, mostly in elderly females, after loss of spouse. LV shape is similar to the octopus pot a traditional Japanese octopus trap. It is also known by various names as broken heart syndrome, stress cardiomyopathy, ampulla cardiomyopathy and epical ballooning syndrome. ECG changes and clinical presentation may mimic acute myocardial infarction. Severe left ventricular dysfunction may occur. But most cases, though not all of them, eventually make a good recovery. Broussard's hypothesis on preferential left ventricular epical involvement in Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is also known as epical ballooning syndrome because of preferential involvement of the left ventricular apex. Broussard's hypothesis on preferential involvement of the left ventricular apex in Takoshubo cardiomyopathy has to do with the trabeculation pattern of the left ventricle. According to Broussard, left ventricular apex is the most trabeculated and thinnest portion of the left ventricle. The resulting higher surface area to volume ratio would mean more of exposed endothelial surface lining the apex. This would make the apex more vulnerable to the effect of excessive catecholamines in the circulation which is known to damage the endothelial cells. Broussard presumes that the endothelial damage would lead on to transient contractile dysfunction in regions with high surface to volume ratio, namely the apex of the left ventricle and some regions of the right ventricle leading to epical ballooning cardiomyopathy. But this would not explain the mid ventricular variant of Takoshiba cardiomyopathy and the inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy is a variant of Takoshubo cardiomyopathy in which there is hyperkinesis of apex with mid ventricular ballooning unlike the reverse pattern seen in classical Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Instead of the precordial ST segment elevation, inferior ST segment elevation has been reported in these cases. The presentation and clinical features of inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy are similar to those of typical Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. The difference in pattern of involvement has been attributed to the variation in sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation of the heart. A pattern similar to this has also been reported in subarachnoid hemorrhage. A guideline published from Japan in 2007 mentioned that inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy should not be included in the diagnosis of Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Ramraj and colleagues collected the data of 60 cases from literature and found that classic type constituted 67%, inverted type 23% and mid cavitary type 10%. They noted that patients presenting with inverted Takoshubo cardiomyopathy were significantly younger with mean age of 36 years compared to 62 years for the other types. Please check out the related videos on this channel on long term sequelae of Takoshubo cardiomyopathy and intact diagnostic score and prognostic score for Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. Here are the first set of references on Takoshubo cardiomyopathy. These are the second set of references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.